I think I'm live. Yes. Good morning. <laughs> Look at the bedhead I got going on today. Let's see. Oh, let me get everything set up here. Uh, check the focus. I think that's that's about as good as I can get this camera to work on the stream for some reason. I always try to get a like little more little clearer every time, but. I think I pushed the edge, the limit of the uh, the stream. What's up, guys? Stards in the house. Morality sketch. What's up? I need glasses. I need to move that monitor closer next time. Ramsey's. What's up? Fong's in the house. Good to see you guys. I made a little poll, and I love that. <laughs> I love that somebody put no. I hate flowers. <laughs> I love it, and also. Uh, Looks like some, a couple of people voted for it. Could work, but don't mess it up. Should I draw a flower pattern in her shirt today? That's the poll. <laughs> and so here, I worked on it obviously quite a bit from uh, last time. And I experimented a lot. So I have, I learned a lot from this one. And so I realized straight off the bat, it was like, I went too dark. I took the, the dark, the value of the, the charcoal um, to the, the very, <laughs> the darkest end of the value scale. And then I was like kind of smashed up against it and I couldn't move around. So what I realized or what I learned from just try, trial and error is that I can actually use the sandpaper and, and scratch out that value and bring the value to a more middle range. And it worked really well. It's kind of dirty, but man, I really liked it. So, so it just felt so heavy on the top. It was so dark, and I thought I kept trying to make the hair darker than the background, but I couldn't. But the value is what it is. Like I took it to the very, the very dark that it'll go. Uh, I could take it a little bit darker, I think, with the uh, general charcoal stick. Uh, this guy, it goes a little bit darker, but it's still not quite there. So what I wound up doing was uh, playing around with it until I figured out, <laughs> yeah, I could just take out the value, duh. So I brought the value of the background down a bit, made her, the outline of her head pop out a little bit more. Um, I still like this little area where it's, it's getting lost in the background. I want to put in a little bit more detail up in the front right here for like, you can see in the, the reference, there's a really nice curl. So I might try to do something like that. And also I was thinking about the, uh, maybe like a pattern, cause she's wearing a shirt that has like, um, some sort of like pattern on it already. <clears throat> I don't really like it. It's kinda, I want something more simple. So I was thinking of doing that. Let me see, let me grab my, mm, excuse me, one second. Whenever I drink like, um, bulletproof coffee <laughs> it's like gets in my throat but man it's so good uh let's see so the patterns i was thinking of uh, let's see flower number one or flower number two uh the first one looks like little what daisies or something that would be a lot easier for me to do than the other one it's got a lot more line work in it but i don't know go big or go home or stick with the daisies I kind of like the daisies because I, I can I can visualize myself picking it out with like the like a q-tip like a wet q-tip like a or maybe I'll just sketch it in and then draw or paint around the flower petals or maybe a combination of both kind of like I'll probably sketch it in and then do a wash kind of over it get it kind of grayed maybe and then get the value uh, kind of transitional uh, gradient scale that I'm looking for. Because what I'm looking for is like dark, very dark, very light. So going from one end of the value scale to the other here, and then as we go down, things start to just fade off. So you can see how the hair is really dark, and then as it comes down here, it's just losing value and sitting, you know, just subdued basically. So I'm thinking about doing the same thing here. So cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, seventy-one percent says yes. Go for it. 
should I draw flower pattern on a shirt today? Uh, 7% said, no, I hate flowers. And 21% says, could work, don't mess it up. I just, <laughs> I had to put a third one because the third one makes me laugh. Um, just watch your Riley figure video. Thank you for instruction, it helped a lot. Oh, cool, I'm glad, Fong. Hey, Frankie, what's up? Let's see, Ja on V, X, 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 X. Hello. Let's see, Frankie, it's good to see you. Charu, what's up? Herax, you got tips on how to keep your values clean? Uh, when I go from a nice two value drawing to more values, it gets very messy. Yeah, so I talked about it pretty much every time I go into value scale is uh, doing a, they call it a single tonal mass. Basically, it's thinking of the middle range of the value scale. It's not, not light, not dark, but right in the middle. So maybe something like this area or actually like this area. This will be like the middle scale and then this is the other end and then the dark dark is the other end. So you start off, you do your basic drawing of the head, just a line work, let's say, like a map out. And then you come in and fill everything in that's dark or in shadow with this middle range. And then after you do that, then you go in and hit the darkest dark. So now you have the darkest dark value to, to base the rest of the, the value scale off of. So that's, that's the systematic way that I learned in art school and how to control the values and not get lost in the woods, which I always do. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. It's just less lost in the woods, I guess. So should I turn on the uh, robot chat, you guys? What do you think? Let's see, let's go over here. I'm gonna end the poll. Let's see. What's that say, pencil lurked? What's up? Welcome. So we got 69, oh, that's a good number, I like that. Yes, for, uh, <laughs> go for it, 69%. So I'm gonna end the poll right now. There we go. So we are going to draw flowers, because 69% of you said go for it. Uh, let's see, okay, I'll try that one today, thanks. Oh yeah, cool, nice. Let's see. Oh, there's the, <laughs> this is the first time I did a poll in the chat, so it just popped up the uh, percentage. That's kind of cool. Oh man, it's 70%, I was hoping it was hoping to stay at 69, that's funny. So 70% 70, 70 yes, go for it. Could work, don't mess it up, 17%. And 11% of you hate flowers, so that's good to know. <laughs> Flower haters. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thinking about doing those daisies, or the top one, the top reference. and. <clears throat> So kind of like dark, very uh, like in this section right here, it's going to be more mm, contrasted, right? And then as I come down, it's going to kind of fade off a little bit and get more of a midtone. So more black and white, and as I come down here, the contrast is going to drop off a little bit, and that'll keep the the focal point like right in the middle on the portrait because I want some pattern here because I feel like we got some cool patterning, like drips and stuff over here, like organic, right? And if I have like this more um, purposed like uh, pattern on this side, I think it'll balance, <coughs> excuse me, it'll balance it out a little bit better, I think. That's, it's all experimental at this point. So, oh, yeah, so, Let's see. Uh, I remember Brad had some video about Riley Method about figure. Those are great. I uh, wish I had more about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're still up. I'm not sure. A lot of those figure ones got uh, demonetized and uh, flagged. <laughs> so for the figures, I don't know. I can't figure it out. Like I see like other channels and they don't seem to have any problem. Maybe they're demonetized too. I don't know. But uh, my my figures keep getting. Uh, flagged by YouTube as inappropriate. <laughs> so, and they're not even bad, they're just like traditional stuff. So, um, okay, so I wanted to talk about a little bit about what I, I experienced yesterday um, working with the charcoal. So we're working with the liquid charcoal, this is the brand, uh, Fusions. Uh, let me zoom in on this guy. And it's really interesting. <clears throat> I probably should have uh, 
watch more videos on it, but I didn't. I just <laughs> just went for it and tried it. Um, let's see. Let me take off the flowers here. So, all right. So really interesting. I went really dark on this this morning, just as an example. Do I got all the lights on? Okay. So if I take my dish of liquid, like it's just kind of it's from left over from yesterday. It's a little little washy looking. Um, I got the pure stuff right at there, squirted at the top. So I just squirt some at the top, and then work my way into it and load up my brush as much as I want. Maybe dip the whole thing and get it wet again. And then you just brush it on, right? But <clears throat> what I discovered, I need my other dish, it's over on the other side. What I discovered was you could take a semi-clean brush that you just got wet and you can come in and you can chip away at the edges. So let's say you wanted this really sharp edge right here and it's kind of blurry right now. So I can come in and it kind of it reactivates it and pushes it to the the side that you're coming in. So see how you can cut right into the the edge of that kind of blurry blurry area. So again, I, I just rinsed my brush, dried it off, and you can chip away, kind of come in and control those edges a little bit better. I just thought that was really cool. So I did that a lot with the portrait, especially on the shadow on the neck. I was trying to make that shadow wrap around a little bit better. So I was doing this exact same thing right here where I was just cutting into the shadow and moving it over by like kind of getting the brush wet and then pushing into it. And also you can just erase like huge areas just with a wet brush right like that. Isn't that crazy? That's so much fun. It feels very much like oil in a way. I'm sure it's like uh, watercolor, but I have very limited experience in watercolor, maybe as a kid a lot, but I haven't done much. This is my abstract painting. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this into an art show and see if it gets any... I should. I've done that before when I was in a community college. As a joke, I made this drawing, and it was as a joke. And it won, like, best... What was it? Um, not best of show. I can't remember what it was, but it, w it won some award. And I was really embarrassed because I was just joking around. <laughs> and I was trying to make fun of the, of the um, abstract art community, but it actually, <laughs> they liked it. So they kind of backfired on me. But um, so that, that's what I learned yesterday. Oh, and the, um, sorry, I'm like all spazzy, all the, all the caffeine. And the other thing too I was talking about with the, uh, um, taking the tone out with the, with the uh, sandpaper. So let's say, uh, where do I want to come in at? Maybe up here because it's still dry. Maybe I don't like that. Maybe it's too dark. So I'll come in here with this and just sand it right off. And it's crazy. It's so much fun. And then uh, it's pretty uh, powdery at this point. So it seems that if you take like a napkin with some moisture on it, and you just come in and clean it off. So you can do it again. I suppose you can just leave it like that too if you want. So you can see it, you get control with the sandpaper, with the, with the wet uh, brush, and also you can use, of course, the Q-tip. And you can come in and do other things too. It works just like the brush does. Yeah, it works really good. So that's my little demonstration of what I, I learned from playing around with the other one. I think I should put this in art show, huh? I think that'd be good. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, my throat. What's up? Mexico, what's up? Let's see, I like your shirt. How much is it? Uh, where, where is it? <laughs> um, actually, I don't remember how much it is. It's on... Uh, it's in the link to my, uh, I think it's uh, threadlessteshirt.com or whatever, but uh, I think it's like $23 if I remember, something like that. But I like it because I, I get to, uh, when I look in the mirror, I get to uh, remember my uh, 
rhythms of the head. There's always like one line where I'm like, oh yeah, I don't want to forget that. <laughs> Let's see. Da, da, da. Should I turn it on? Should I turn on the robot? Let's see. Let's go ahead and turn it on. But yeah, I should I should put this one in an art show. What do you think? Just like a local, like a local venue. I'll have, I have to make up a name. Like a good, a good um, eccentric artist name. Maybe like, I don't know. But I think that would look. I think that says something about society. <laughs> Says something about psychology and psychi psychiatry. Ugh. All right, let's go back to let's go back to our girl. Da, 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 da. All right. Um, let's see. I'm gonna turn this puppy on. See if it works. Oh, it is on. I just have to turn the the volume on. Duh. All right. So as you can see, I did a lot of work and <clears throat> manipulating the background like I was talking about with the, the brushes and stuff. And I like this drawing. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's so weird to have the robot voice, but I like it. It's interesting. I almost feel like people are like behind me watching. Well, they are, huh? You guys are above me. All right. So I want to like take some of this value out because I'm going to put a curl in there and I want to try to like just bring this all down to the same value so like I was saying just sandpaper that bad boy out it's pretty crazy and then kind of wipe it it's not too messy it's a, I mean it is messy but it's not too bad so basically I'm backing up. I'm going I'm backing up from where I I came from. I'm going back to the basics. So this would be like what I would normally the value I'll put in as the initial value when I just start the um the shading process. So I'm kind of just taking it back to there. Um I think I'll leave this where it's at. Maybe try to put a little bit of a maybe there's a curl over here. I don't I don't really know how much detail I want to get into. Maybe just maybe like a hint or something. But definitely down here, I think it would really be nice if I can get like a, a decent something, something decent, a decent curl. And then have the, the pattern over here, that would be cool. Let's see. <clears throat> Do do. Where's my flower? So that's the flower. I think I'm going to do. I think. Let's see. I'll just shrink that a little bit. I might do that. All right. Let's move. I'm gonna keep this. Oh yeah, the sandpaper I'm using is a 220 fine grit. I just picked it up at Home Depot. And I'm probably the only one there that got that went to Home Depot as a for art supplies, <laughs> but they have really good stuff. So <laughs> let's see. Form um, where you learn the drawing. I didn't understand it, so I gotta wait for it to pop up. Uh, I learned drawing from Watts Atelier. Uh, most oh, that's the uh, professional stuff, but most of it. Besides that, was just growing up with my mom, who's an artist, and she taught me a lot. Actually, I was talking to her yesterday. It was her birthday, and she was telling me um, about drawing on the right side of the brain. She was, she's like, she had a book called Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain or something like that. And uh, we were talking about that, and I forgot about that book. And one of the uh, exercises is to, uh, I think she was saying it was like drawing drawing something upside uh, object upside down so you're forced to use your right brain which is the the brain that identifies what you're looking at and not identifies but it solely looks at the shapes and then the left side is the one that tries to draw what it knows let's see so we we're talking about that I totally forgot about that book 
Let's see. I don't like this. It's kind of bulbous right here. It's like boom and boom. It's too, too symmetrical. I want more asymmetrical curves and shapes. So maybe I'll bring this down. Maybe put it straight here and then a curve. Let's try. I almost dipped into my coffee. Then a nice curve, maybe. And I can all, I keep trying to dip in my coffee. I better move it. That's so funny. Maybe if I come in here, make this a little bit more of a straight. So now I'm using that where I come in from the side and just cut right into it. If you can, I highly recommend trying this out, the, the liquid charcoal. It's a lot of fun. It takes some getting used to, though, I must admit. But I can see the value or the, um, if I did this on a regular basis and get s some proficiency with it, I think it will be really pretty. So I've seen, like, other artists who are really good at this. And I think they mix it up with other like probably they probably use like a mix of like charcoal uh, powder and um, the liquid charcoal because I can see how this like gives you a lot of um, texture and stuff oh yeah and I'm using the uh, I'm using a uh, canvas board as well it's a um, it's designed for uh, oil paint but I'm using it for uh, this liquid charcoal because I like my idea was like to get all this try to get all this texture and and I just know that this canvas board kind of sucks up the moisture pretty quick. Uh, it's kind of like a medium range as far as that goes. And I uh, really like it for oil, so I thought, why not? Let's see what happens with the liquid charcoal. I probably should have just went with the, um, the watercolor paper. <laughs> that would have been the safer, safer thing to do instead of trying to, like, try something completely different. I've never seen anybody uh, do a, um, maybe I have, I'm not sure, I don't think so, like a charcoal on a um, oil canvas like this. I'm sure somebody has, but I haven't seen one yet. Um, oh, this is too hard of a line, so I'm going to kind of blur that up. Yeah, just kind of. Put random kind of organic strands of hair, maybe. I like how this is, I don't know if you can see it, like it's all bubbly down here. That's really kind of cool. It's really pretty. So this has got to dry before I can go in, I think. So it won't take very long. This dries pretty quick. Let's see. So there we go. It looks really dark on the, the picture, so I might let that dry, and then I'll come back. Do and you think if you used a mixed media paper, you could use a kneadable eraser to do all the refining? Oh, probably. I think so. The interesting thing with this is, yeah, it wasn't like it doesn't tap out at all, pretty much once it's dry. But when it's still a little bit moist, the uh, kneaded eraser will really it really goes in really. Um, it pulls it out really well, but once this charcoal dries, it's the kneaded eraser can't can't grab it. But if you get like a piece of like a towel that, and you get a little bit moist, that works really good. It just pops it right off. It actually works like the kneaded eraser, but um, I think it's because it has to be activated for it to come back out. And it could be because of the teeth on the. Um, on the canvas, I'm not sure. So that would be a good experiment. I would get. I'm, I would bet if I had to bet, I would bet that the um, the same thing would happen with the paper. Um, maybe not to this heavy degree, but I think it would still have a hard time. Cause it it it's really interesting. It doesn't really come off. Oh, that one did. Oh, that's because I put a little bit of charcoal over there when I was testing out that stick. So 
Yeah, it'll pull out the, the charcoal off the pencils and the sticks, but it won't. But the liquid one, it stays. It's, <laughs> it's there until you get it wet again. Let's see. Um, actually, let me go ahead and try to pull a little bit more value out of this side. It's a little wet, but let's see what happens. So it's actually kind of creating some texture. That's kind of cool. You can see that texture of the um, canvas coming through. I, I really like that. And then there's like this bubbly kind of watercolor look down here. So it's like interesting um, textures. Let's get all this off. All right. Uh, all right. So I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to map out the flowers and trying to decide how I want to do that. I think I'll do a pencil version of it first. Um, might as well just use my Conte. I was going to use my uh, one of these general pencils, the charcoal pencils. It doesn't really matter. It kind of it's going to get washed over anyway. So let's see. That's an HB. Yeah, I'll just go with the HB. Generals charcoal pencils. So I got the general pencil, I got the general's charcoal stick, and we got the fusion's liquid charcoal. Mixing it all together. And then I'm gonna map out these crazy flowers. Let's see. And let's put her to the side. Whoops, where's my flowers? Oof, that's a lot of flowers. All right. Let's see. I'm trying to decide. Oh man, okay, that's not good. <laughs> I'm getting overwhelmed already just looking at the pattern. But I'm going to sketch out how big I want the circle first. And let's see. This could be really good or it could be a really bad <laughs> idea. It's really hard to tell sometimes. You just have to try it. I don't want this a perfect circle. I want it kind of curved over. Man, it's hard to see too. sketch that in really hard. I should probably go over to, I'm going to go over to the uh, Conte because it's a little bit darker, I think. Yeah, that's better. I was using that HB and it wasn't, wasn't working. So I'm just going to sketch out a very, very uh, basic shape of the flower. I'm probably going to change the design. I can already see myself doing that right now. That's okay. So there's one. Uh, let's see, let's get a different size one. This one may be like a, they're right up against each other too, huh? So maybe if I just draw out the overall shape first, like an oval, and then right here, it's gonna be like a small one. So let's do that. So let's see. Let's do the flower. The center is up, way up here. And then the petal, one petal is right here. So you see I did like that, the oval and then offset the center so I can get get it to look like in, a, in the, um, the pattern that we- Hi, I love you very, very much. I love you too. <laughs> is that Jana? Oh no. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> Uh oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Um, yeah, so I did that offset so I can make like a perspective change. Uh, let's see, let's come over here. You guys are awesome. <laughs> You're really sweet. Um, let's see. And it doesn't really curve around. The pattern I'm drawing from is really simple, so maybe I can kind of just play with that and add stuff. I don't know. This is my world. Hi. 
Who's that? Have you ever tried Jacqueline. any caricature drawing? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I think. Uh, when was that, guys? I can't remember. I think that was like a couple weeks ago now. Does that count as it? Yeah, it was character. Was it a caricature? I don't know. I did a uh, cartoon, and then uh, I think right the very next day after the the random uh, cartoon, I did uh, what do you call it? Sci-fi. I tried to make up a sci-fi. Little bit different. Try to make a sci-fi character. I don't like. Dropping by to say hi in the chat. Smiley face. Hi. How are you? Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Oh, Jana, that's you. <laughs> Jana, she's in the other room. She's probably in a meeting. I just yelled, and now they probably heard it in the meeting. Let's see. Bathory, did we met in the Aurora Borealis cat? I think I'll make this a little bit longer. I was trying to make it a little. Chat asterisk, sorry, neutral face. <laughs> I like I like how it describes the uh, the emoji neutral face. What if you talk to people like that? You're all Hi, like, Jenna. You're like that's a great story you just told neutral face. And Hi, Jenna. So this one is going to be small and kind of curved in. Obviously, I'm not drawing exactly the way they have it in the pattern, but I'm using it as a Who starting is point. Oh, well, well. Jana is the, the human robot voice that sometimes helps me <laughs> on the stream. She's my beautiful, wonderful girlfriend. And, oops, I just got those two mixed up. I wanted that split right there. Okay, okay, so maybe I need something over here that's gonna like fall into the background a little bit, so maybe an outline here, an outline there, because not all of these lines are gonna be represented, these shapes, some of them, even though I, I drew them, I'm gonna, Speak of the devil. I'm gonna pull some of them out. So maybe over here there's gonna be a random petal. Unamused face, unamused face, unamused face. <laughs> you're you're not amused, huh? Who is that? Because I can't see the chat because I'm looking at the uh, reference. Let's see. I'm gonna move this around so I can see who's talking. Unamused face. That's true. <laughs> awesome. I love it. And see, I already like. I like. I'm already liking the uh, the pattern a little bit. Let's see if I can. So we got a the center on this one right up front. What if this one is? I don't speak English. I am sorry, massager. No, that's all right. I don't mind. Do the uh, the emojis all the way. Um, let's see. Let's do the circle here. I always tell my friends who like, you know, the English is like their second language or something, and they always like, if they apologize, I'm like, dude, don't like, please. If, if I, I wish I can speak half as well as you speak English, I wish I could speak Spanish half as well or whatever, you know, language. Hi. I don't speak any Artists, second language. Please tell me some advice for scribbling technique, scribbling sketching. I will start with the big shape. To start off with, like, I think pretty much how I did that. Um, I liked that method that I uh, learned for uh, drawing cartoons. Was um, I can't remember what channel it was, but they were talking about starting off. Oh, with, <laughs> starting off with a big shape, and then try to make a character out of that shape, or maybe pick an object in the house or something like I don't know, like a, like a like a weird shaped jar or something and then draw the overall shape and then try to make it into a, a character of some sort that would be kind of cool i'm going to curve this over a little bit try to give it a little bit more life
Yeah, there you go. I don't want it just like straight out. I want it to curve around a little bit. And this is all going to be black, right? Kind of dark. And then only just the petals are going to show. That's interesting. So we got big one, big one, little one. Let's do a little one right here. It seems to be a pattern. <clears throat> and I'm going to make, again, with the center up, up to one side. My voice just cracked. That's so weird. And then maybe this petal comes out. And this one curves around. That's kind of funny looking. I like it. I am Iran and working with Penn. Nice. Iran, what's up? Xiaomoy Nui. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to pop up on the screen. Chow Moy Ngoi. Ben Lee. Let's see. Chow Moy Ngao. Is that is that any way close? I know like Chow Chi, Chow An, Namo Idea. I can't say it. Namo Aida Fa. Artist, if you don't mind, so please a demo scribbling pencil moving. Scribbling? Should I just do like a, a stream where I'm just like going for it? Doing like crazy off the brain kind of like sketches and see what happens? You guys like that? Might as well give it a shot. Never know what will happen. So I have like a small one, small one, maybe a small one here, and then I can put a bigger one right here. I think that might work. I'm gonna put it right up against this one. That's gonna be my smaller one. Hi everyone. And then I'll put this off center right here and do kind of like the same thing. I hope I hope this works out. I hope this works out, guys. Because I did all this work, and if, if I just mess it up with this stupid pattern, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I'm laughing, but seriously, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I'm going to be walking around all day, all just moping. And Jana's going to be like, what is wrong with you? Get it together, man. Let's see. And then I can put like a, a bigger one right here, but not the full. Nice work feels just like sitting in the academy. Oh, yeah. Welcome to class, everyone. Oh man, I wish I got paid like those guys. That'd be awesome. Let's see. So I see like, there's like a pattern, like a flower pattern in the corner, the very bottom corner. Like right here, let me grab it. Let me grab it, let me grab it. Like this one, this corner right here. See that, that flower right there? I like that, that looks so cool. I'm gonna try to do that right here, I think. Let's see if I can. Hi, Star and Fong, raising hands, medium light skin tone, star struck. Nice. <laughs> Did Brad just said Buddha in Chinese? I don't know. Was it Chinese? I don't know. I was trying to like pronounce what I saw. I tried my best. I'm sorry. I keep getting a a job offer, or I don't know if you call it a job offer, but like um, some Chinese company that does uh, kind of like YouTube. They um, want to work uh, kind of like collab or whatever you call it. They want to take, have permission to use my videos and repurpose them um, in Chinese language. And I don't know, I'm not sure. There's somebody. Artist, your skill awesome because I learn with you. Nice. Uh, yeah, gotta learn, learn, learn. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, uh, like My name is Reza. 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 When the puppy arrived, can you draw him? Is it Reza or Reza? Hell yeah, I'm gonna draw my dog. <laughs> it's all <laughs> the live streams are all gonna be puppies now. After this, after we get him in, I think we get him in like two weeks. It's going to be all puppy streams. 
So we decided finally, actually, guys, we decided on a name. Uh, his name is going to be, some of you probably already know, Koa. 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 <laughs> the robot voice. Yes, Koa. So that's the Koa little, Lamefa. that's the, uh, the little guy's name. Let's see. Yeah, I kind of like this pattern. So I think like, like this part on the outside will fade off a little bit. Maybe even just stay with the line work. I'm not sure. Uh, it's high in Vietnam. Namo Amitabha. Uh, Namo Amitabha. Amitabha. Namo I. Namo Amitabha. Namo Amitabha. Namo Amitabha. Is that any? Is that close? What's up, Fong? Yes. What? How do you say like? How do you say good evening in Vietnamese? Like, or something similar, like a very, um, like respectful way of like seeing a stranger on the street, and you want to say good evening. Let's see. Where should I put this one? Probably can't even see it. Let me move my my stool. I'm. Oh yeah, you can see I got I got my sweatpants, my camo sweatpants, and a camo hat. So I'm all camouflaged today in case in case I have to go outside. <laughs> I don't want to be seen. I don't know. Maybe like a. Did did the robot say it right? Did the robot say it correctly? Chow boy. Chu. Gosh darn it, that's so hard to hi, say. Hi, also a course of languages. I feel like Vietnamese is really, really difficult because there's all these sounds difference in the throat, right? It goes, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> it's like, there's like, like just the A versions is like, there's so many different ones. You have that, that one looks like a question mark, ah. Uh, and then the one that goes like flat, ah. Uh. It's so complicated. Like my ear, I can't even... I'm ha I have a hard Hi. enough time with English. I didn't get the notification. Like how many languages you practically know. What? Me? I don't know any. <laughs> I barely know English. <laughs> In uh, college, I took Latin. And I don't know why I took Latin. I should have taken like Spanish. I should have taken French. But I took a language that is pretty much... Uh, I don't want to say it's a dead language as far as being spoken. It, it's dead, but it really, it did help with like medical language to learn Latin. But man, I, I kind of wish I, if I can go back in time, I would definitely take a different, a real language that's like spoken, at least Spanish. Having lived in California most of my <laughs> life, I, you would think I would learn Spanish. But not to make an excuse, but I do have difficulties with uh, sounds. Like um, I have a, what they call a phonological disorder. So I have a hard time taking the sound that I hear. Namo is Buddhist way of greeting usually used by monk. Oh, nice. Namo. Namo. Um, so I, I have a hard time hearing a sound like Namo. Or Latin a, is a very good language as medical. Yeah, for real. And then uh, my brain has a hard time putting that to uh, actual words and, and letters. So I didn't know about that until I was in pharmacy school and I took some some learning disorder um, test course. It was like three days of like IQ testing and, and so they discovered some of that stuff that I, I was having difficulty all my life and I didn't even know it. And then they were like showing me like how to compensate for it. And I'm like, but I already do that. So I, I kind of figured it out as a kid, how to, how to get around certain things. Let's see, the pattern. Okay, let's put some over here. It's very kind of you that you're teaching very, very, very good messenger. Messenger. Let's see. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I, part, I was talking to him, uh, my girlfriend about this the other day, and it's like, because I was like, you know, I'm straight. Oh, no, wait, was I talking? Yeah, I think it was uh, my girlfriend. Was it? <laughs> I can't remember if it was my girlfriend or my mom. Don't tell, don't tell Janet I said that. Um, but I was t 
talking to somebody. <laughs> I was talking to somebody about it, and because uh, I was, I was feeling like I'm streaming too much, and it's like a lot of work, and and I need to make some other videos because the actual videos are the ones that make money off of YouTube. The streaming is kind of like, I don't know. At least right now, it's not doing a lot. But I really, really enjoy this. That uh, Fong and Geonimo seems all the same sounding in many languages. <laughs> but I really enjoy this, and it, partly because it wasn't. Fan from Iraq. It wasn't that long ago where I was trying to find information on how to draw portraits in a traditional way, and I couldn't find it because there wasn't anything on the internet back then. We're, of course, we're talking like 20 years ago, so I don't know. I just I love sharing it. Like I love sharing things that I learn. It's like. I don't know, it's just the way I am, I guess, the way I'm put together. But I, I dig it. I really enjoy this. <laughs> and hearing from what other people. My favorite my favorite comment is when somebody says, I haven't drawn in like 30 years and I started and uh, I'm watching your videos. That I love that. That makes me so happy to hear that somebody. NGO, are you a Buddhist? Yeah, I really like that. Let's see, so I don't need to go too much more. Maybe like some hint of a flower over here. Over here maybe, let's see, maybe it's right here. We appreciate you, Brad. I appreciate you guys, thank you. Especially right now, you guys are giving me a reason to keep going. Because I just moved here, I moved from another place. Don't you know? Just I needed, I needed this. I needed some sort of like every day, kind of like a schedule while I'm trying to get, you know, trying to get the uh, the job lined up and stuff like that. So the state board of Texas told me I can um, now sign up and take the test. So I'm gonna go online today and uh, pick my test date. Yeah, I definitely understand. I like to help people and share knowledge too, but you have to have a balance because people would just take, 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 and you are left feeling resentful. Oh, yeah. That portrait looks awesome. The composition is flawless. Aw, oh, thanks. Pretty much, like most Vietnamese are. I am your fan named Gurva. Even though it's not completed yet, it is surely a masterpiece. <laughs> That's sweet. I don't know about... I don't know about uh, anyway. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's hard to take compliments sometimes, uh, but I still. You I should do regular videos and only one live stream once or twice a month. Oh really? I think yeah. I was trying to figure out something like that. How about this one? Is this a masterwork? I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna put this one. I, I'm not kidding. I'm gonna try to. The pattern to looks great. It's just a line drawing. <laughs> I'm gonna put this one in some sort of art show and see what happens. I don't know. Why not? And see what happens. Maybe I don't know. I'll probably get too into it and, and I'll turn, I'll turn uh, into one of the uh, the weird artsy fartsy people and start selling uh, abstract paintings. All right. Well, there's the the pattern. Now for the harder part is to uh, fill it in <laughs> and work the edges. Oh boy. All right, so I'm gonna get a smaller brush. So here's all my, my brushes right here. Let's see, this is what I've got to choose from. So I got the biggest, baddest one. And I think for this, I'm probably going to maybe use this guy because he's got a flat edge. And I can kind of, I think I can work around into the corners of that flower. So let's give that a go. I'm gonna be already like. I like all your tattoos. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is um. If you want to check out the dude that did it. You draw same just like that photo. Check this guy out if you can. Four five four tattoo on Instagram. He's really really good. His name is Brad Schneider. Four hundred and fifty four tattoo. <laughs> yeah. Pardon me, my main is professor. Four five four tattoo. Brad Schneider. Awesome. I need a towel. I need something close by. 
Let's see. Ah, I just lost one. There we go. <clears throat> there. So then I can dip, kind of knock off the excess. And I'm, what do you call it? I'm procrastinating because this is scary to come in. I'm not sure how dark to go yet. It's pretty watery. Oh, this is going to be a little challenging. I'm holding my breath. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. I think it's too watery. Let's try to go a little darker. Yes, indeed. Thanks. I will check them out. Yeah, every once in a while I'll get like, I'll start thinking maybe I should do tattoos. Maybe that would be, and then, then I see like tattoo artists online, and I'm like, oh yeah, no, and that's <laughs> that's, a, that's gonna take like another ten years to get that down, that skill. It's like I can't do everything, right? Or can I? I don't know. But yeah, I want to do everything. I want to stream every day. I want to sculpt. I want to paint. I want to draw. My when I was a kid. One of the things I really wanted to be was a DJ on a radio station, not like um, like a music DJ, but like, you know, sitting in a radio booth, talking to people between songs, maybe putting them on live chat or uh, live on the radio. Because when I was a kid, it was all radio. There was nothing else. It was like TV and radio. That was pretty much it. So... <laughs> When I was a kid, I would call the radio stations all the time and try to win stuff. And I've won like, you know. LOL face with tears of joy, exactly. That's a whole mother skill. Yeah, and uh, I would like get tick free tickets to like R&B uh, uh, groups, concerts, uh, get uh, records. Because back then it was all records. I don't even think they had cassette tapes. Maybe they did. Yeah, I think they did. But I got records. I think I had a Try number one. I think I won a Jody Watley record, and I don't know. It was just a lot of fun. So I always wanted to be a. It was one of my early dreams to become a, a DJ, on a radio station where I can talk to people and call them and. And I've been I've been thinking about somehow doing a live, like uh, taking live calls on the stream, like right now I could be talking to somebody. That'd be really cool. And uh, so I looked up a, a little bit yesterday and the day before, and I think like Discord has an option. Is it Discord or Discourse? I always get those two mixed up. But I don't know. I think that would be rad. Actually, I was thinking about getting what just. The, I was thinking about just getting like a a phone. Jody Watley, OMG, LOL. <laughs> yeah. What is this liquid, dear master? Wow, very nice. This is the best drawing channel I ever see. Thanks for live streaming, smiling face. Oh, thanks, man. I don't feel, I don't feel, anyway, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, this is liquid charcoal. And somebody asked, right? Uh, fusions liquid charcoal. Let me type that in. Let's see, fusions. I just got it off of Amazon. Of course, that's where I always do. Let's see. Try it one day. That's awesome idea. There you go. Fusane's liquid charcoal. Let's try to come in here in these little hot spots. Who is that? She's a singer from the 80s, y'all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Music has no boundaries. What kind of music do you guys like? Do you guys like the old stuff from the 80s, like Jody Watley? The thing with her is that that album cover, she has a, she has really big curly hair and really giant big hoop earrings. And I think that's where it came from that I have such a fascination with like hoop earrings. I, like I'll draw a portrait and just put in hoop earrings even if they're not, you know, if, even if the model isn't wearing one, I'll, I'll put them in. I just love drawing those big giant hoops and catching all the light in different areas on the, the earring 
And I think that came from when I was a kid. And I got influenced early on by Jody Watley's. I love Red Heart, the 80s. Yeah, the 80s. I used to hate the 80s music. It was like, I just came out of the 80s and the 90s, and then I was listening to like grunge a lot. And I hated, hated the 80s pop. And then it wasn't until like maybe 10 years after that that I started to like the 80s pop again. It's kind of funny. I've seen it on IG where they take questions on live casts. Live cast. This is kind of fun. I mean, this is this is like a uh, having this robot voice is kind of a what do you call it? Like a poor. Me too. I wear them all the time. Like a poor, not a poor. I don't know how to say it. It's kind of there. It's kind of almost having a live phone call, I guess. It's nice. At least uh, I don't have to take. I can at least answer questions as I go. I wish Janet could be here like every day. That'd be awesome. So I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm coming in between these flowers, and I'm trying to keep it at the same value. Like I was talk. Like I was telling somebody earlier how to. How you start with a single value, and you try to just put down that one middle range. And then you come back later and, and manipulate the values. So that's what I'm trying to do, but it's hard. I might have to come in with the, when it dries a little bit, maybe come back with the, uh, the sandpaper and rough up the edges a little bit. That'd be kind of fun, actually. So I'm drawing flowers <laughs> on this stream. You're probably like bored as heck. Yeah, I was also looking at uh, some YouTube videos on how how to stream and and uh, be entertaining. I don't know. It's, it was interesting. So my my I loved bamboo earrings. Gold was really hot back then. Yeah, I think the I think it's Bro, I love your drawings. I learn everything new every day in this channel. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for coming over. Share the channel, please. Share it, but um, I don't know. I was I was thinking about how like when I was a kid, I wanted to be a DJ, right? And I was like, oh, that makes sense. Like uh, why I like streaming so much. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like it makes total sense now. And I started uh, streaming on TikTok, not TikTok, sorry, blah, Twitch. My brain doesn't work sometimes when I'm trying to draw. So, yeah, I started on Twitch. And it's, uh, if you want to check it out, because I don't have, I don't think I have a single follower yet. Um, this is my name on, on Twitch. Brad Olani. You could be my first follower. <laughs> I have some copyright argue on YouTube. Brad Olani. What's that? Might have some copyright argue for uh, which one? I thought about doing like. What type of fashion that you find and usually put on model? Let's see. Uh, what kind of fashion that you usually put on a model? Definitely hoop earrings. You can see one right here. That's a small one, but um. <laughs> But I don't know. I might want. I might put one over here as well, just poking out. I don't think that's in the. the yeah, I don't think you can see it in the reference. I'm not sure. But oftentimes you'll see one over here. So I can actually make this one longer if I want. I can bring it down Twitch to here. Twitch has no discoverability, no algorithm. That's why no one can see your stuff. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Somebody suggested I do a stream on Twitch and then repurpose. Like download the video and then uh, share the video on YouTube. Because the uh, I heard that. I am also drawing with you. Nice. Because I heard that uh, the uh, um, what do you call it? When you stream on YouTube, it hurts the channel if you've been doing videos before that. Because I have noticed that the. Um, I mean, play music stream might have some copyright issue. Oh yeah. Oh man, YouTube so so strict with the uh, music so one time I had a uh, copyright strike and it was <laughs> it was for uh, my neighbor 
uh, a neighbor next door was playing music and I didn't notice it and it was so low in the background but the uh, the algorithm the bot or whatever picked it up hello what's up hunk hunk is in the house so I'm, I'm gonna come in here and just see those little areas it's a little too dark like I want to even so I want to come in and just break those lines up a little bit and I want it to look really rough and yes you should repurpose your stuff on here yeah I did that with um, that one big stream I did the three days of that uh, the big afro with the curls um, I actually posted that today but I don't think that's I don't know I think should I even repurpose like the streams on YouTube into a video like that I don't know somebody told me I should but it feels kind of funny because it's already there it's in the stream but if I did it on Twitch and then repurposed it and put it on YouTube that probably would work I don't know how many of you guys are on Twitch you guys like pretty much go over there as well let's see let's kind of play with this a little bit this is an experiment I can make if I think that's too dirty and the flower oh that's right the flower the center was gonna be dark too huh okay so I can come in here and clean these up YouTube and Twitch have some policy that could see a content creator if they are not careful enough okay let's see YouTube and Twitch have some policy that could screw... I am very, very sorry, so I don't speak English. My main was Professor Noma Sajiro. Use stream beats or epidemic sound. It's copyright free. You can play music. Ah. Oh. Stream beats or epidemic sound. Uh, let me try... Let me write that down somewhere. I like your drawing. Thank you for your lessons. Stream beats. Epidemic sound. Thank you. I need to work on these flowers. I'm going to move it to another brush, a little round one like this. So, yeah, maybe I'll. I don't know. I like. I like streaming. Doing it every day is probably a little too much. It might be a little too much. Even some guitar cover song on YouTube, all muted. Yeah. Yeah, totally. It's kind of irritating. Like I was saying, like that neighbor that was playing music at it, you know, in his house, it just happened to permeate the air a little bit. <laughs> and then I got it. I'm on Twitch. I will follow you. Post your link. Yeah, let me see. Let me let me find my link. Just come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Just followed you on Twitch. Oh, nice. I've only ever discovered artists on Twitch when they were live. You could multicast live on Twitch and YouTube for best results. Dude, I got two followers now. Thanks, guys. I got two followers. That's sick. There we go. Copy. <laughs> oh, it's playing. Whoops. <laughs> so you can see I have one stream on there right now. It's 23 minutes. That was just me uh, practicing. So <laughs> it's uh, pretty boring. But uh, yeah, that was me practicing. So here's my. Bam. There you go. I got two followers, man. That's so cool. For the whole week, it's been like none. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. HTTPS colon slash slash www dot twitch dot TV slash Brad Omani. <laughs> uh, do I like that flower? I'm not sure. I'm just going to fill this in. I'm not going to think about it too much. I'm just going to fill it in. This is one of those projects, like doing patterns and stuff, where you just listen to a podcast and just zone, zone out. 
Or if you're doing, <laughs> if I was doing live calls, I could do that. I'm kind of zoning out a little bit already. I just, I don't know. I really love doing the live streams. It's like, it's scary. Like, it's really scary to draw like this in front of people. At least not, not today yes, so much. Yes, multi-stream using Restream or StreamYard. You can stream on here and Twitch at the same time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about that. So, like, uh, Restream and uh, Streamlabs. Yeah, I should try that. Somebody suggested earlier on the chat, they suggested I do, was it like one or two streams a month? And then do regular videos on YouTube. So maybe, then I, that will give me more time to kind of like, to, I don't know, make it a little bit more entertaining, I guess, instead of just, just drawing and most of the time I'm pretty quiet when I'm drawing. It must be kind of boring for you guys. That's why I like this chat, the live chat, and I love the uh, little Sir, chat how bot. Sir, how to be so patient? How to be patient? I don't know. <laughs> yes, so you don't burn out. Speaking of podcasts, you got me listening to Jordan Peterson. Good stuff. Oh, nice. He's got a lot of helpful stuff on um, just your basic, like how to live a good life, I guess, a happier. But he doesn't call it happy. He calls it more like uh, contentment. Happy, not like, oh, I'm, I'm so rich, I'm happy. But like, cause that doesn't happen either. But I guess he's more like, find something that's meaningful and, and uh, be of service to other people, I guess, kind of thing. I don't know. But he's got a lot of different kind of videos. I like his psychology stuff from the when he was still teaching at that school up in Canada. He's got all those old videos. I just followed you on Twitch. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. Ooh, let's see. Sacktown, what's up? Sacktown J. He's from my hometown, Sacramento, California. We need to get you on Joe Rogan. Oh my God, that'd be crazy. I would be so nervous. I would cry. I was on, oh, if you, I did one podcast so far um, on uh, Christian Knee's sketchy podcast. Uh, you can check that out. Um, I haven't even watched it yet because uh, I'm a little too shy to watch it, to tell you the truth. Let's see, where is that? I'm going to try to find it. Yes, so I was in, so uh, Kristen Nee, really sweet, really awesome guy. He, uh, been, he's been living in a van, and he does a podcast. And it's called Sketchy Van Podcast. So let me try to find it. There it is. Yeah, I think the last person he had is uh, Eric Gist, actually, from uh, Watatillier. He's in the van. Let's see. Let me pull up his channel. So here's, here's the one of me. Here's the podcast I did with him. Sketchy Van Podcast. And I think he just, he posted on Instagram, I think yesterday they had uh, Eric just on the podcast. So I don't know if it's up on the. HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com <laughs> slash watch question mark V equal sign TKBPB one MXHJ four. There you go. <laughs> you can actually play stream beats on Spotify for free. No copyright copyright. Oh, nice. So you can, you can play stream beats on Spotify for free. No copyright. Okay. I'll check it out. I wish I could just play whatever kind of song I want, you know, like like a d real DJ in the back in the day. Throw a record on. That'd be so cool. Let's see. So it's hard to get it. Um, see if you can see like this. Let me zoom in on it so you can see what I'm going to talk about. Where I noticed it's kind of hard to get it to sit evenly. It's like it, it'll 
get dark pretty quick. But if I take my sandpaper, maybe I can push it down a little bit. This, this towel is tight, like slightly wet. It's like damp. So it's picking up a little bit of that value. I don't know. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, once I get this laid in, and then on the edges, I'm Just gonna. Just play us music on your flute. <laughs> that creative girl. Uh, oh, wait, who said that? A oh, creative girl said the uh, Spotify copyright. Sackdown J, just play music on your flute. Okay. The flute. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to torture you. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about. Stream beat is by a YouTuber. He said he was tired again. The copyright strike every time we play music, so he created his own music streaming service for free. Oh, uh, nice. What is more difficult, drawing or painting? So I'm thinking about just blowing this edge out. Like it's darker here, and then as it goes out on the peripheral, it gets a little bit lighter. So let's try that out. That kind of looks cool. I like how that pattern, it's like a shadow. It's like a, it's like a, a hint of something. Let me uh, zoom back out. I think that might work. I'm experimenting. His name is Harris Heller. Let's see. Yeah. So, see how all these like cool like organic drips and stuff that that tone. I'm kind of thinking of making like this edge that same kind of tone. I think that'll work really well. Let's see. Creative girl. His name is Harris Heller. So he got. So he got uh, tired of the copyright issues on YouTube, huh? That's an entrepreneur right there, that's for sure. So I'm trying to just make a hint of some flower on this little spot. Something like that. Maybe I can do a wash. I like those little like kind of organic looking messy little drips. I'll blend it a little bit better later when I'm listening <laughs> when I'm listening to a podcast today or listening to uh uh stream beats. See, this is a little dark now. And I noticed too like when I first put the uh when it's still wet, it's going to be a little bit darker in value, but once it dries, it's good. Hey babe. Hi, you're on a uh, break? Jana's in the house. NGO. Somebody said Vor in uh, Gao. How do you say it? Vor Gao. Gao. Nga. Gao. Mm. Mm. How's work? Aw, mm. work is work, huh? I want to say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Wave at the camera. <laughs> there you go. Mess it. Yeah, <laughs> she was threatening me. Was it yesterday that you were going to get your hands wet and come in this room and smear it all up? Me what did I say? You said something. Uh, that doesn't I sound. Forgot. I'm a sweet guy. I would never threaten anybody. That is a lie. <laughs> I th you forgot what I said? Yeah. You make me want to get some liquid charcoal. I don't really like charcoal. I feel like it's too messy. I'm one of those neurotic artists. Oh. Hi, Jenna. Did you Hi. <laughs> now she's gone. She just left. 
Yeah, this charcoal, this whole experiment, the biggest thing I'm learning is to let go a little bit. But when I, I did a lot of work on this face, I didn't even talk about it too much. Um, cause I was trying to grab, I was trying to get some control over it cause it was just chaos. So what I wanted to, to see you in the room. <laughs> yeah, she's gone now. Oh, she, I think she's on a break Like she gets like a 15 minute break and she's got to go back. But I was using, uh, the pencil and just doing a tiny, tiny little circles. Hey, waving hand, medium skin tone. Wifey, how are you feeling today? <laughs> So the, apparently there's a pretty long lag time on this. I should probably check the stream and make sure it's okay. Let's see. Where is my stream? There it is. Oh, it's okay. Never mind. I'm paranoid. Man, this is taking a lot longer than I thought. I thought this was gonna go really fast doing the, uh, the flowers. Um, so, Mm, so what I'm going to do, as you can see, I'm already getting there. I'm just going to keep going. And the idea again is to kind of fade the edges of this out. And I may not even use all of this flower hey, Brad, pattern. Have you ever doing something then suddenly an idea just come to mind that excited you? Oh yeah, all the time. Uh, I write them down in like a little booklet. And then usually I go back later and I look at my idea that I thought was so awesome and crazy. like amazing and then it, I didn't realize that it's not so amazing <laughs> but sometimes I do get like a good one that's why I write them down because even if it's like a not medium skin tone lol weary face face with tears of joy face with tears of joy <laughs> so um, medium skin tone <laughs> so that's what it, um I think it's important to write down your ideas, even even if they're not great ideas, because it gets your brain in the habit of coming up with ideas. And if you write them down, uh, I, I feel like after, I don't know, you'll get like one good one out of a hundred at least, right? And it's kind of like, I don't know, just uh, you're creating a habit of letting your brain come up with ideas without judgment. And I think that's really important. So. Even if it's a bad idea, I still write it down. I just keep it in like a little booklet, like a little um, one that fits in your pocket because uh, I can carry that around all day long. I guess you can write it down on your phone, but I kind of, I still like to use paper and um, versus like digital stuff. I don't know, it just feels better to me to have like a physical like booklet in my pocket with a pen or a pencil. It's comforting. I, can, I know I can just pull it out, write down some ideas, and then look at them later and see if if it, if it was a decent one or not. I don't know. It's really fun. See, this is really. I'm trying to get this. Hello, Lewis, sir. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? See, there it is. Sports news. <laughs> What's going on in sports? How do you store your drawings with Choco? Doesn't the liquid charcoal still smudge? No, it doesn't. That's the craziest thing uh, I learned about this, um, doing it this week. The charcoal doesn't smudge hardly at all. So here, let's look for a clean finger. So a clean finger, dark area. See, not very much, very little. Like if I did that with, a, if that was vine charcoal, that'd be gone for real, right? If it was like the charcoal sticks over here, my finger would be completely black, but instead it's just just barely. Especially over here, it's like a little dusty because I sanded it, but yeah, it stays on pretty well. I haven't even, haven't sprayed it yet, so if I spray it with like a fixative, I think it's I think this is going to be a a thing that I do from now on. I'm going to do this on a regular. I'm starting to like it. Like I said, I feel like having done this as an experiment I can see the future of it. Like if I can get a little bit more skill with it and comfortable, it'd be really interesting to see how far I can get along with it, get how far I can take it. And I see some other artists and they're so good with the liquid charcoal. And I think I'll probably mix it up with like liquid charcoal and other kinds of uh, medium too. 
I don't know if you've seen the uh, old video that I did like years and years ago, and it was a charcoal figure on a cardboard. Um, like I took a cardboard box and cut it up, and then um, use it as a uh, to draw on. And I used charcoal, and I tried <laughs> tried using a uh, surf wax uh, to like mix with the charcoal to get like a darker dark, and it didn't do. I don't know. I didn't really like it at the time, but. What I did like about it was like the uh, the wax kind of, um, it's chunky and it will sit above the surface of the uh, the paper. It's more familiar with paper than digital stuff. I always keep a notebook nearby just in case I wanted to do something. Yes, totally. It's really helpful too. I love it. Yeah, I keep talking about it. I haven't done it yet, but I keep talking about it. Like I need wow, to... starstruck, okay, I like that. I need to learn. I need to learn my digital stuff. So I'm gonna, uh, probably tonight when I work on this, I'll come in and re make up new shapes because I like this one right here. That little like it's like a little kind of almost like a I don't know what do you call that a little triangle like a diamond. It looks like a diamond shape. That's cool. I like that shape. I like this shape right here. This one kind of goes to the side. So I'm gonna like I'm gonna have fun tonight playing with this. Um, that sounded funny, <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun, but I, I like how it's come, coming together a little bit. Um, maybe make this a little bit darker. I'll just do a little area. I'm going to do an experiment right here and see the values that I want to, um, eventually get to in this, in this, uh, drawing because she's pretty much done. There's a few things I might do. I was gonna do the hair. Yeah, didn't get to that today. Like I said, this is taking way more time than I thought doing the pattern. But I think I'm gonna use this little area for the last few minutes to try to show you what I'm thinking as a finished area. Like, just really dark. Excuse me, kind of blending in with the um, the hair shape a little bit. And I kind of want this area to pop. But maybe I'll take it too far and I don't like it. And if that happens, I'll wait till it dries and I'll come back with this, with the, uh, the, um, the sandpaper and just uh, scratch it out. So thank you guys for watching my experimentation. I really appreciate it. And thank you for the guys who uh, came over and or, uh, followed me on Twitch. That's really awesome. I <laughs> finally have some followers. I probably have, what, three now? Maybe three or four. That's so cool. I'm so lonely over there. I did one stream. It was like 20 minutes, and it was just all by myself. Very nice. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thank you. I like thumbs up. So something like that. I think think I might do I keep this pretty dark right here. And again, my idea, the vision, the the thing I see in my brain is as we move down this way, the contrast is gonna flatten out. And then it's keeping all the attention up here. And I already feel like it's more balanced, don't you? Like than having this big chunky mass of value at the top. Um, like the last stream, it was so dark. It was just so dark and heavy, and it felt like it was just a weight on her head pushing her down, and it just looked just looked really bad. But that's because I took the value too dark, too fast, and I thought maybe I can go darker, and I hit the wall basically on the on the value side, the dark side. So once that happens, then you have to figure out a way to like. Very pretty, your art. Push it back down. You're welcome. What time do you usually go live? Thank you. It's best to keep a consistent schedule on Twitch. Oh, <clears throat> uh, yeah. I think that's the same for YouTube, too. Um, as everybody... Let's see. So, as it is right now for, like, the past month, it's already al almost been a month, I think. I've been streaming for, like, 24 days in a row, at least. Uh, every day at 9 a.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. And... It's probably a little too much, but I had a lot of fun <laughs> doing it. And 
like I said, I'm going to try to figure out a schedule that's a little bit uh, easier on me that I can still make uh, regular videos on YouTube, like instructional videos. As I have one for the eye, I want to do how to draw the you know little details on the eye structure and stuff, and that seems to be the main one that people like want to learn about and also the figure I got to do more figures so I've been so focused on portraits lately I haven't done many figures so I got a Bob tablet and want to give it a shot but the pet and the digital feeling just not right to me oh uh, yeah and um, yeah just uh, just there's so many things I want to do and it's like is she awake <laughs> You bought a tablet and want to give it a shot, but the pen and the digital feeling. Yeah, it's weird, right? It's like, the I have a Wacom over here that I've been using for t-shirts no, I mean, and stuff. What time do you go live on Twitch? Oh, I don't have a, a time yet. I only did it once just as a uh, test. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out what time on Twitch. Because um, I don't know if I want to keep streaming on YouTube or just stream on Twitch and then repurpose the videos on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'll do like a stream on Twitch, and then there's an option you can download it, and then I can cut the video up a little bit. I can edit it down, um, make some annotations, and then post it on YouTube. I think that might be the way to go. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? I think somebody else uh, suggested that earlier, to uh, stream on Twitch and then post on um, YouTube. So, got to figure that stuff out. Yeah, this looks kind of cool. She looks. Almost looks like a Hawaiian shirt in a way. I should have done like some uh, other flowers or something. So this might be too too contrasted. I'm not sure if that's true. I, I can just come in and scrape. Have both at the same time. Oh yeah, Streamlabs. That's right. Okay. Huh. The problem is though, like, because my YouTube channel, I've been doing Sounds it for like years. Yeah, I've been doing it uh, on YouTube, like just posting regular videos, right? And then I hear like if you go, you do that, and then you go into live streaming a lot, then it hurts your channel's views or monet monetization. I don't know. That's what I heard, and it, it seems to be the monetization part is dropping. <laughs> so you can see like I'm pretty stable as far as like uh, how much money it makes on YouTube. And then when I start the streaming like a month ago, you can see it, the decline in the uh, monetization. <laughs> so I don't think YouTube uh, likes streaming all that much if you're normally making videos. I'm not sure. It's so hard to tell what they're doing on the algorithms and how they pay you. How's that camera? Yeah, camera battery is still pretty good. Let's see. www I'll be right back smiling face. <laughs> okay. All right, Sky. I use Twitch to watch stream sometime, and when you started to follow any channel, you have to watch five minutes so that you can start a comment. I don't think it hurts your views because I found your videos again after years because you've been live streaming every day versus I haven't really seen any of your other videos. Oh, okay. Hibiscus would be Hawaii style. Yeah, hibiscus, yep. yep. That's the that's the flower I was thinking of. When I first moved to um I was in uh, yeah, when I moved to Hawaii, I was I just came out of pharmacy school and I got a, a really cool job in in uh, on Kauai, the island of Kauai. And one oh, of my she's awake. and one of my coworkers gave me twelve Hawaiian shirts, twelve, like it was crazy. They were so beautiful too, really high high quality. So her son is a, a school teacher, and he's a big Hawaiian dude. Or um, anyway, so he's like a big guy. He needs like an extra large at least, and uh, the students they buy teachers. Um, Hawaiian shirts when they if the you know the teacher they like or something so he had like all these shirts that he couldn't wear. My brother's in the stream. Your brother's in the stream? Yeah, his name is Silver Ray. Say. Silver Ray, hey, there you are. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> He's right there. Oh, she's awake. Silver Ray, what's up? Thanks for coming. 
we got we have an international um, stream usually I think we have Iraq Iran uh, who else is in the house is India in the house Sacramento is in the house What's up? Is anybody... YouTube wants you to stream. The problem is people don't usually rewatch live streams, so that's the problem. So it's better if you do both live streams sometime and regular videos. Okay. That makes sense. So I probably shouldn't even like bother to try to repurpose the YouTube stream into like a normal YouTube video like I did today. <laughs> that was probably uh, not needed. The Netherlands in Doha House. Netherlands. Nice. Another place I haven't gone and I need to. I wonder if I should outline these. I probably shouldn't. I should probably keep it really just kind of subdued. Huh. Well, I think you guys can see the vision I had <laughs> for the pattern of the shirt. Uh, I'm going to play with the... U-U-R-R. play. U -U -R -R. U-U-R-R, U-U-R-R. What's up, Sky? U-U-R-R, U-U-R-R. <laughs> Sky. You can repurpose a live stream, but you have to edit it down to like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, edit out all the pauses. Oh, <laughs> yeah, because I repurposed it and it's four hours. So it probably wasn't a good idea. Taiwan in the house. Taiwan. U-U-R-R, what's that mean? Are you just spamming me? Or is that like a thing? Let's see. Maybe if I can kind of smear Maryland this. Maryland in the house. Taiwan's in the house. Star, okay, Star, you're in Taiwan. I keep forgetting that. Creative girl, Maryland. Nice. I think we had like somebody from uh, New York City yesterday, the day before. Well, yesterday I was doing the Patreon. So yeah. Go to <laughs> I'm from Vietnam. Vietnam. Who's who's in Vietnam? Fong, nice. Oh, that's right. We talked about that. I'm sorry. I feel bad. Was it like Hanoi, like in that area, like the northern area? Let's see. I gotta fill in all these little <laughs> these shapes. This is a lot of work, but I think it's going to pay off. See how dark I just went? That's no good. I went way too dark. Maybe I can just pull it out with this wet napkin. Yeah! Nice. Dude, that actually worked better than trying to, like, get the right value first. Nothing like experimenting live. Live. All right, so I won't repurpose any more uh, stream videos. I'm originally from New York. The Maryland, right? Creative girl. Oh, okay. Why no Texans? Do you not advertise it to everyone you meet? Let's see. What? Why no Texans? Do you not advertise to everyone you meet? Section <laughs> J. No, I don't. Actually, uh, I was at Home Depot and some guy uh, started talking to me about light bulbs. <laughs> I swear to God, it was like a the full conversation that we had was probably almost an hour just standing at the light bulbs talking. And then uh, it took me about 35, 40 minutes, maybe longer to get to the point where I told him that I stream. Actually, I said, yeah, I said, oh, yeah, somehow YouTube came up. I don't remember. And I said, oh, yeah, I stream on YouTube. And he looked at me funny like, he's like, what do you mean? <laughs> I was like, I draw and stream it on YouTube. And he's like, oh, my daughter, blah, 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 likes to draw. So then, then I got to talk about the. So that, that was only one person so far in Texas <laughs> that, that has my uh, information <laughs> about streaming. It's so funny. People in Texas like to talk. I really, I kind of enjoy that actually. Uh, California. What lighting setup do you have? Oh, the lighting setup? I wonder if I can turn the camera around so you can see it. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, let me show you. Let me show you the room. Let's go for a trip. 
I'm gonna put this over here and then let me see if I can grab the camera and show you the room. All right, you ready? There, so you see, boom, there's my TV with my references and everything. You need a big belt buckle with the rhythm head. <laughs> I do. Here's my uh, skull and my uh, planes of the head. Here's my old painting I did. And then there's, here's the outside world. I'm on the fourth floor. And then there's like a pool down Yay, there. Yeah, a full tour. And then uh, here's the lighting situation. Let's see, let me come over here. So I got two big lighting panels at the top and two of these like side side deals. And then there's the, uh, the painting or the drawing and all that, all the Twitch stuff or the um, screen stuff. And now, let's see if I can put the camera back. Hey, that's pretty good. Actually, that's well, a little bit off. <laughs> Did that work at all? Oh, because I had the, oh, I don't know. Anyway, I think I, I forgot they had this green screen on it. That part looked really stupid. <laughs> I don't know if you can see anything. <laughs> that probably didn't work out. Anyway. Oh, jeez. I, I got to set up a second camera, actually. Hey, I still got this up. Let me get rid of this uh, flower image. Let's see. I forgot about that. Put this over here. Nope, on vacation. So, anyway. Camera looks like it's going to die soon. So I'll just let it die as I continue to talk to you guys. So, yeah, I have two big lighting panels. Shit. Let me put this back on. I have two uh, big lighting panels. And this apartment is so dark, actually, because we're in the... We're in the corner. Filipino house plus my mama. <laughs> Hi, Philippines. Who is that? Silver Ray, what's up? Full tour. Uh, Philippines in the house plus my mama. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's see. So I like how I need this a little bit darker, I think. But I want to show that the edge of the, uh, actually, just, let me just make this dark. Let's see, I'm running out of liquid charcoal. Yeah, you'll see me do this more often. I'm gonna do this again, oh, wait. this charcoal. Is she 14? Uh-oh. What are you guys talking about? Uh, yeah, I wanna I want get this a little bit darker. See how dark it is? And it's only because it's wet, but as soon as it dries, it'll go a little bit lighter. But I, I wanted to show that, that edge going from the neck into the collar shape. And the hair kind of curling back over, falling over the back of the shoulder. I, I didn't even get to the curl over here. So I'll work on that tonight because what I was going to do is kind of like right here, I can probably give it some sense of a curl. That didn't work. Let's see. Where's my Q-tip? Yeah, this is going to take a little... A little time to figure out how to do this. I'm trying to get like a highlight, but it pulls the charcoal out really fast. Let me try to smear it. Yeah, it's hard to control. I think I'll have to wait till it dries again 
and then come in and try to get some sense of like strands of hair and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a little too, a little too wet right now. So I'll let that dry. So it seems like you just work on one area until you get kind of to the point where you can't manipulate it very well because it gets a little too wet. And then you just let it dry and you come back and work on something else while you're waiting for it to dry. Let's see. Do, 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 do. So yeah, I think that's it guys. I think that's all we're gonna do today. Sorry, I didn't get to the I didn't even get to do the uh the curl on the hair. I was looking forward to that too. So I subdued it down and kind of I took a lot of value out with the uh the paper, the sanding paper. And then I can draw in like a curl or whatnot. And I think I'll let this dry right here. I'm gonna do the same thing I did over here and kind of pull the value out and then I can put that little bit of a curl that we can see right there. And I'll finish the uh, the flower pattern and I'm gonna come in on the sides and you can see how I'm just gonna sand that edge and kind of soften it so it, it just kind of disappears a little bit. I think that would look pretty cool. Kind of like hint at the uh, pattern. Yeah, I like that. So it's like, you can barely see it. I like that. I think that draws all the attention into the face. So thanks guys, I really appreciate it. It was a fun one. This is a really good uh, good experiment for me. It kind of takes me out of my mundane, typical drawing on the uh, smooth newsprint with the uh, Conte Hub Paris pencils, which I love, of course. And it's great exercise to draw on those on that smooth newsprint because it's it doesn't last very long so it just forces you to think of it as a uh, study versus something that's going to last forever and and that's just I just like I like doing that I like drawing for the the garbage as they say and uh, this one this one's going to last forever <laughs> it's on, this is on a canvas board it's a really really sturdy board this will probably last a couple of hundred years if it's lucky if it doesn't get destroyed somehow. But yeah, look, check this out. Like, this is a really, really strong board. It's made by Fredericks. It's archival. It's canvas panel on hard board. And it's actually really heavy because of the, uh, just the structure of it is pretty, pretty solid. So this thing is gonna last a long time. This is gonna last way longer than any sort of like, um, archival paper I bet I bet you so even put this inside of a, a frame maybe some put it under some uh, glass so I think I'm probably about 70% done on this one I gotta do some hair and stuff but uh, yeah we're coming up on it yeah I'm excited about this one I got I gotta do more of these that was a lot of fun I appreciate you guys coming and uh, talking story with me a little bit you on your robot voice on the chat. That's always so much fun. Um, hairspray will last longer. Silver Ray, oh yeah, hairspray. I used to use that all the time when I was a kid. My mom would, uh, we used to use Aquanet because uh, you know, it was the 80s and my sisters had big hair. <laughs> so we had plenty, plenty of uh, Aquanet hanging around the house. Um, so yeah, thanks guys. I'll see you uh, tomorrow, tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow at the same time, 9 a.m. Um, I think tomorrow, let me think, let me think. Tomorrow is, what is tomorrow, Wednesday? I don't know, I might, I have to decide. I'll, I'll check tonight, see what my schedule is, if I can do it tomorrow or not. But uh, I'll let you know definitely uh, uh, today. Um, with the, I think I'll just write out the um, schedule and post it on uh, YouTube. So I'm also trying to still think about Twitch too, so I don't know. Thank you guys for uh, following me on Twitch. I really appreciate it. Uh, finally got some followers. Um, awesome. So thanks, guys. And I'll let you know uh, when the next stream is and uh, everything. I think it'll be tomorrow, but uh, not 100% sure yet. So anyway, thank you.
Bye, guys.